Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how I do my natural nails. So as you can see, they're not that long, but they're not that short either. And I'm just going to be showing you how I cut them, file them, and obviously paint them. And then these are the products that I like to use. So we're going to get some cotton balls, and then as well we're going to get some nail polish remover. And I like to use this as a primer for my nails so that they grow nice and healthy some pink polish and then a small little nail file and this nail cutter oops i fell <laughs> and then this is just to push down on the cuticles and i'm using that so first things first we're gonna get this acetone and we just put it right there um and then i get the big cotton balls but i just like rip them apart and make basically like a tiny little cotton ball as you're gonna see right now then I dip it in there and then I basically just put that over my nails even though there's no nail polish on it I just like to clean them um, with the nail polish remover now I'm gonna speed it up because it's a long process so I'm gonna be speeding up a lot in this video because you just repeat the same technique basically so once your nails are all nice and clean I'm gonna show you right now what you're gonna do oh look at that clean nail <laughs> So right now, as you can see, I have this little, like, type of cut in my nail, and it really hurts, and I didn't want to take the whole thing apart, so I'm just going to try to save as much as I can of it. Um, yeah, so right now, I'm just cutting the nail a little bit because I'm going to have to, because you know when you break a nail, you know, it get tangled in, like, your shirt or, like, something like that. So there we go, as you can see I cut it and filed it a bit. And then these are the rest of my nails. As you can see, they're <laughs> one, or, one is long and the other is short, so I'm gonna have to you know, trim them. And then that's the broken nail. <laughs> and then I'm gonna push them on the cuticles, as you can see. And then I got this from when I got these like fake nails from Kiss, I believe. I got this and then I just saved it. I don't know if you're supposed to throw it away, but I saved it. Then I'm just gonna show you how I gotta cut all of them and then obviously do that as well. So here we go. So right now I'm just working on the broken nail. So I had to cut it. <laughs> Sad face. So I tried to save that broken nail, but right now I'm gonna go in with that primer that I like on all the nails so it makes it look shiny. And it's basically just to like help your nails grow strong and healthy. As you can see, the bottle's full. I haven't really been using it. And it's like second time using it probably. Um, yep, so right there, I cut them and filed them. And there we go. So all before and after. And then this is the other, my other nails. <laughs> so I'm just gonna basically do the same thing. Oh, and then I like to do this where I just cut like on the sides of the nails. I just like cut it a little bit and then I file it. It's easier for me. Um, that's a technique that I like to use. I just find it easier for me to, you know, file it like that. And then we're all done. <laughs> so now I just keep doing this technique onto all the other nails. Filing, filing them. Very important to file them until you think it's... Where, where, until you blah, 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 until you think it's best <laughs> um, and then again some primer onto the other nails so I already did one hand now I'm going off my second hand I'm going to speed it up but yeah that's basically all you do and there we go we got those ready and prepped so now we're going to move on to Erasing Rose 263 by Sally Hansen <laughs> I use a lot of their products, I really like them, and they're affordable as well, so I got this pink color, and we're just gonna plop that right onto the my thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, so that's the broken nail right now, and you're gonna see how it's gonna turn up. I try to save it as much as I could, I didn't want to rip the whole nail off, even though, as you can see, the cut was like really really um like in the middle part but yeah and then i'm just gonna put some nail polish onto the rest of my nails 
and yep even though you're getting really messy right now it's okay because we're gonna go over with the nail polish remover after so it's fine just try to you know put the nail polish on make it look nice and pretty as best as you can because then after we're just gonna go wipe down all of it as I'm doing right now getting that acetone so I can erase all my mistakes that I did with it so I just go on the edges and then if you want you can also just like put your other nail onto the side as I'm gonna do right now so first just go over with it and then yep then you do that and you just do that to the rest of your nails and then just make it as plain as possible but yeah you just repeat the process and then you can also get these the cotton swabs I like to use that as well um because you can like really go into the tiny parts where you can't with the cotton ball and then this is me doing my other hand so just going on the nail polish <laughs> as you can see it's really messy but it's all right because we're gonna wipe it off right now so this was the broken nail as you can see i try to fix it as best as i could and then here i'm going in with the cotton swab um just in the parts where i couldn't really go in with the big cotton ball i'm going there and just trying to clean it up really nice and neat so it can make you know the nails look nice and clean so as you can see the difference of both cleaned and not cleaned because as you see i have the nail polish all over the side just because i was trying to get the color on there as best as i could and it's really hard when you do your own nails i don't know how people do it i find it really hard for myself but i'm just trying to do my best and yep so a little bit of my nail polish also dropped but i still used it <laughs> and then here's me just cleaning it up all the sides you can really get in there with the cotton swab another technique of mine that i like to do is really put the cotton ball or cotton swab really press it into the nail because it takes off all of the polish there so if you just like let it as you can see sink it in there for a couple seconds and now i'll be going in with another one of her products the instant dry that's just like the clear finish for it just to make them nice and shiny um so i just finish painting off both my hands both the you know my nails on both my hands and now i'm just gonna try to give them an extra sparkle you can say just to make them nice and shiny um sometimes i also use there's this MAC coat that you can use, but right now I use the shiny one. And I'm just going to be putting that all over my nails really seamlessly. Um, and then you can also wipe off a bit if you want on the sides of it. Yay! Okay, so this is the finished look. I liked how they turned out um, this is just what I do basically and these are the products that I use if you want to use the same products I gave you a little bit of my tips um, and then yeah so this is the final result pretty in pink <laughs> I like how they turned out they're, they don't look so short but they're also not super long but because they're my natural nails but um, yeah I liked how they turned out very happy with the end result and i hope you guys liked the video and had fun watching as i had fun doing bye